Hi everyone, welcome to another edition of Token Topics, a channel all about crypto and blockchain technology. I hope everyone out there is doing great and had a happy new year's. The topic of this video is Stellar XLM. There is so much going on with Stellar it's hard to keep track. So in this video we're going to get the latest and what we could be expecting going into year 2022. Also NFTs built on Stellar. We're going to get a better understanding of IBM Worldwire and MBank partnership and how this is all being led to integrate it into the new financial system. So if you're wanting to learn more about Stellar, you come to the right spot. Please hit the like and subscribe if you like the content. And remember, I'm not a financial advisor. Any investing is risky. I'm also not paid for or sponsored by Stellar or any of its uh, partners. So with that out of the way, let's go ahead and dive into the first topic, shall we? All right, first topic, the price is Stellar is just under 30 cents. So we've had a nice bump up. It's moved up most likely due to the snapshot that's just around a corner, January 15th. And if you're unaware of the Aqua snapshot, I'll put a link to a video I just recently made that'll get you up to date if you like to participate. So we can see in the past seven days, it's just been sluggish. The thing dropped down. It's come back up. But my guess is most likely, as I just stated, due to the snapshot that's just around the corner. So between now and January 15th, we're probably going to have some more upward action. Next topic, NFTs built on Stellar. We know that NFTs are, are massive, right? And so NFTs built on a Stellar blockchain is going to decrease network fees and so forth compared to Ethereum. That's for sure. So NFTs, in short, are non-fungible tokens just to fill people in. They're unique digital items and they can represent ownership of artwork, audio, writing, in-game items, and really anything. There are advantages to issuing them on Stellar. Just as I was stating before, you can save money as far as the fees. So the network is designed to make the asset issuance easy, affordable, and quick. The protocol doesn't rely on mining to validate transactions, so the environmental considerations are different from other blockchains. But there are also some unique technical challenges. What are those challenges? What's the best way to cover them? What's the current state of NFTs on Stellar? And what's in store for their future? In this roundtable discussion, some key NFT players in the ecosystem will cover those questions and more. Like, how long will it take for adoption and what steps are required to make it easier? But I, th I think there's just infinite applications. Uh, it just depends on how digital we decide to get as uh, as a people it will happen of course the 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 lovely thing is when a system is in, is invented which is what we have with with blockchain where it's released and it can't be stopped so with nfts i suppose there's that same question which is and and tyler you were talking about you know true decentralization of nfts the other day you know how do you how do you get to that state now you have you have these and we perhaps should uh, talk about this, which is you do have that you're talking about um, your description was you're looking through a window. You have to go to the shop, look through the window and, and look at your NFT. All right. All the talk about NFTs. Let's actually look at some NFTs that are built on Stellar. So this is StellarNFT.com. And I'm going to put the link to this down below. And you can just see through all these different NFTs that are built on a Stellar. You can see the prices right here. Look at this weird bear wars. <laughs> It's only 50 stellar. Some pretty cool pieces of art. NFTs are a pretty big craze right now. So stellar, in my personal opinion, is an excellent blockchain to build on due to its speed, decentralization, and also, of course, as I stated before, the fees are much less than compared to Ethereum, of course. So just looking through some of this art right here. And if you're a developer and you're wanting to learn how to build an NFT, on Stellar blockchain, or maybe you're not even a developer. Maybe you're wanting to get into this though. So I'm going to put the link to this down below. So this is how to develop an NFT using Stellar. So, all right. So quick summary, we build on non-fungible token using two key pair accounts, issuer and distributor on the Stellar test net. And we will make use of the Stellar laboratory to make the learning experience accessible and awesome. So these are the steps that we'll cover to create a two key pair account to fund the account, create a trust line, create the NFT, lock issuing account, sign and submit blockchain transactions, explore the account and NFT. So you can go through all this 
if you are interested in creating your own NFT. All right, next topic. So mass adoption is key and it's vital for any ecosystem, of course. So there's a lot of banks and financial institutions. It's a little complex for them with WorldWire. So this is where the partnership with MBank comes in and it's very important. Let's hear some words from Jesse Lund on this development. Now keep in mind, this is an older video, but it still shows what work has been going on behind the scenes and it's always good to learn. It's an entirely new type of uh, payment network designed for cross-border payments. IBM's long game in WorldWire is really to be the network operator. Um, we provide a, you know, a commercial construct to convene a network of participants um, that are involved for the sake of doing real-time cross-border payments. We uh, do extended due diligence on participants of the network. We manage governance of the network. We manage the APIs, the core software that, you know, that, that facilitates facilitates the transfer of value between counterparties and you know ultimately we manage the infrastructure and the things that uh, IBM is known for for the past hundred years. MBank uh, is an exciting new startup in the in the core banking software space and uh, they were one of the first to recognize the potential the value of of WorldWire. Banks have a really hard time integrating with WorldWire not because they don't want to just because changes to core banking systems are complex and time consuming and so MBank kind of brings that to them as a module that that their banking clients can just purchase and add on as opposed to having to do a lot of extra work. MBank as really a what we would call a, a, a channel partner to some key financial institutions primarily uh, banks. Uh, again they do a lot of the the integration work so that the banks don't have to uh, which makes joining the WorldWire network really really easy. Participants of WorldWire are our banks and financial institutions and so if we can provide better optimization and extend to their clients through them a better user experience then really everybody wins. Now let's hear some words from the CEO of MBank Vladimir. We are here in Singapore at Money 2020 to launch a product of our joint collaboration with IBM. IBM Worldwide is the first payment and settlement system in the world that's based on blockchain and brings to the wider network of participants the ability to settle in multiple currencies, in multiple asset classes throughout the world. MBank is one of the most comprehensive banking as a service providers in the world. MBank is a digital core provider that runs traditional banks, challenger banks, and non-banks, all of whom will benefit from the functionality and from the capabilities brought uh, by IBM WorldWire. Its role in the IBM partnership is to roll out IBM WorldWire as a standard value proposition on our core. IBM is present in most of the financial institutions around the world. It brings with it a very strong name, validation for the technology, and the stability. Now keep in mind that this is work that's been going on behind the scenes and any bank or financial institution that is partnered with MBank, of course, is going to be connected to WorldWire, which is very vital for the whole ecosystem. So MBank seamlessly takes the pain out of integrating into the blockchain with WorldWire. All right, on to the next topic. Now, this is from Yahoo News, and it states here that the plumbing of the world's financial system has been replaced and almost nobody has noticed. Banks and regulators all around the world have managed to replace the plumbing of the entire financial system, even as almost nobody has noticed. If you've been subscribed to the channel, you've noticed. So the clips that I just showed you of the CEO of MBank speaking, that's the work that has been going on behind the scenes that that Yahoo article was just talking about. All right. Now, in a previous video that I made not long ago, I was talking about hot crypto to hold going into 2022 and yes stellar xlm is definitely one of them iso 2022 token compliant xlm is not only just iso compliant but there's two cryptocurrencies that are not just compliant with iso they are members of the iso 2022 standards body so you basically have a standard right here stellar lumens so Stellar is part of this body through IBM, which uses Stellar. So we've talked about WorldWire on this channel. We talked about how massive this ecosystem is. And in my personal opinion, I think Ripple, talking about XRP now, I think they get more of a spotlight, especially with the whole lawsuit and all that. What I mean is that XRP gets a lot of the attention, but I'm, 
I'm telling you right now that XLM is also going to melt faces. It's going to shock the world. Now, comparing XDC, XRP to XLM, they will each have their own use case. It was once believed that they were in competition. This was going years ago. But now, as information is coming out, we've even heard information from a Corda developer who has stated that they are not in competition, that this is actually going to complete the whole new financial system. We know that Accenture is partnered with Hyperledger Fabric, which is IBM. We also know that they're partnered with R3 Corda. We also know that they're partnered with Quorum. So you, what we're seeing right now is we're going to see all these networks of private ledgers, public ledgers, um, all come together. All right. So now just to show people how massive Stellar is, having a stable coin, USDC built on a Stellar network is world changing. So now I don't believe that there's going to be just one stable coin. I think there's going to be a few needed in my personal opinion. Uh, but I don't think that Tether is going to make it. So this brings us to knowing that USDC working with Stellar, they're working with regulators, they're working with governments, that they're doing it the right way. So wallets, exchanges, payments, companies, and market makers can now leverage the speed, security, and low cost of the Stellar Network to operate a truly global digital dollar. So right there, boom. All right, next topic. We can't forget this big news of Circle, Account, and API services that are now support Stellar USDC. And Circle is a big key to the integration as well. So today, sir, this is an older article, but I'll go through it. That Circle is announcing comprehensive support for Stellar USDC across all Circle products. So right there, that's going to be massive. All right, now let's hear some words from Lisa Nestor, the Senior Director at Stellar, and her comments about USDC, USD, uh, stablecoin, going from Ethereum onto Stellar. Also, they're going to talk about Circle partnership and how it's important for the integration. So we see um, using USDC on Stellar to move money around the world as the kind of sustainable V2 of what we've seen going on um, in the broader space over the last couple of months. So um, yeah, that crazy gas fees will be the thing that I think we look back on and, and kind of say, wow, I can't believe we did that. I overlooked that you wanted to add in just in terms of your uh, efforts at Stellar to kind of mainstream um, this product. When we look at the kind of big picture digital asset space, there's a lot going on and USDC is, you know, a dollar stablecoin within a much larger marketplace of digital assets. Um, I think what's exciting for us at the Stellar Development Foundation is, you know, our mission is focused on improving the world's access to financial infrastructure. And what we continue to see um, when we work, you know, in like with partners all over the world is a huge demand for access to dollars. And so, you know, I don't think that these things have to compete. We have to, you know, have um, uh, Bitcoin and dollar stable coins, you know, kind of like there be one winner. Um, but what we hear from our partners around the world is that, you know, the ability to, um, save in dollars, the ability to um, more easily access dollars, the ability to um, transact seamlessly across borders with dollars is something that there is a lot of interest and demand for. So this is great news too. And we know that they were working with the Ukraine, Stellar was working with the Ukraine government earlier this year, but here's an update. So Ukraine uses Stellar to pilot a new digital currency program. Ukraine Central Bank is supervising new digital currency pilot program using Stellar blockchain. Now, according to a press release by fintech firm, Bit is working with Tosco Bank. This is one of Ukraine's oldest commercial banks on pilot project to create an electronic version of Ukraine's national currency. So right there, we know that they're also working to create a central bank digital currencies alongside with Ripple. 
we have to remind ourselves that the world is a very big place and there are so many different banks and financial institutions. So that's why when I see partnerships, even with Stellar, that doesn't discourage me from holding XRP. That doesn't discourage me from holding XDC or any other ISO token. I know what I hold and I know they each have their own use case. What I personally like to look at Stellar is silver. I look at XRP as gold and then I look at XDC and the others as other precious metals that have use cases. XDC was the perfect fit for Corda. But as far as a lot of these banks being integrated, for example, if they if IBM Worldwire is connected to another bank or financial institution, they're not going to need those other blockchains. So as partnerships grow, it's going to be interesting to see how this world transforms. And to give my viewers a little bit of a rewind, we know that they have partnered with iTrust Capital, which is massive. So Stellar XLM and iTrust Capital crypto IRA retirement accounts are available for people that want to take care of their retirement. We also know that Grayscale is also partnered with them. Back in October, at Stellar Partners with USDC, I'm sorry, Stellar Partners, they tap the USDC, the USD coin, for remittances between Europe and Africa. That's massive right there. So we're getting bits and pieces as time goes on, but when you zoom out and you look at all the partnerships, all the great articles, all the great news, MoneyGram partnership just not long ago. Everything is in place. And that's why I believe that 2022 is the time to fly for XLM. I just want to let my listeners and viewers know not to forget about the Aqua snapshot that's going to be taking January 15th right around the corner. I'm going to put the link to this video that I just recently made down below in case you would like to learn more about it and possibly participate. All right, everyone, keep your crypto safe with a decent biometric wallet from IOTrust. Buy it through Token Topics and receive a $10 off coupon. I am affiliated with Decent Wallet and I personally use them myself and I do enjoy the wallet. The world is full of tensions, all simultaneously pulling on the fabric of our financial system. Hola, ma. ¿Todo bien? ¿Qué pasa? Mira, estoy acá afuera del banco. Ah, pero está cerrado. ¡Qué porquería! ¿Pero qué están haciendo? Déjeme pasar, que necesito sacar dinero. El avertismo interviene después de que varios rapports han hecho surface sobre los viajeros que se hacen volar de fuerza su dinero a los barrios. Y eso es exactamente donde vemos el cambio pasando. Un cambio que está empoderado por los que tienen las habilidades para crear. Un cambio that includes the unincluded. A change that enables all the financial world has to offer to anyone, anywhere. Driven by technology that helps people to truly own what is theirs. De l'argent pour mon téléphone, s'il te plaît. Combien? Le tout. We are the bridge builders, connecting those who seek opportunities to those who dare to create them. Des réfugiés n'ont pas de smartphone. On est d'accord. Bah, bon, on se dépouille plutôt sur ce téléphone. Vous en pensez quoi? Our calling is to create tools for doing good by doing well. Ah, non te préoccupes. Je demande de plata. And doing well ah, by doing good. Mais ils sont entrés dans le camp avec l'intention délibérée d'intimider et de voler de l'argent. Prenant les dernières épargnes de ceux qu'ils ont plus besoin. And bridge technical and physical borders with technology for real-world problems. Look, see the opportunities. We just need a way to bridge the obstacles. To create a more just world by acknowledging that everyone is valuable and empower local solutions to solve local problems. The Stellar Network, a universe of opportunity.